NASA's newest observatory, Gamma Ray Large Area Space Telescope, or GLAST, has begun its mission of exploring the universe in high energy gamma rays. The spacecraft and its revolutionary instruments passed their orbital checkouts with flying colors and has captured its first images of the gamma ray universe. Astronomers wrapped the first all-sky map over a sphere to produce this view of the gamma ray universe. Gas and dust in the plane of the Milky Way glows in gamma rays thanks to collisions with accelerated nuclei called cosmic rays. The famous Crab Nebula and Vela Pulsars also shine brightly at these wavelengths. The Vela Pulsar beams radiation every 89 milliseconds as it spins. The pulses are shown slowed down by a factor of 20. We asked Steve Ritz, Glass Project scientist, why are we looking at the gamma ray universe? We're looking at the universe from a completely different perspective. We're looking instead of through the light that you and I see through our own eyes, we actually look at it through gamma rays, which is another form of light, or it's the same thing as the light we see with our own eyes, except that the light itself is literally tens of billions of times um, more energetic than uh, the ordinary light that we see. And why the gamma ray spectrum? It's really one of the last parts of the whole electromagnetic spectrum that's relatively poorly explored. And history shows that when you open up a new part of the, a new band in the electromagnetic uh, spectrum, uh, you can expect some surprises, some great surprises. And what is it we hope to see? It's like pulling a veil off of the universe and suddenly seeing something underlying that we couldn't have detected with our own eyes. It's an entirely new perspective on the universe, which is always very exciting, very challenging, and very important because it gives us completely new insights into a broad range of things. One of the instruments GLASS will use is the Large Area Telescope, or LAT, the primary instrument on GLASS. So what is LAT? We asked Peter Mitchelson, LAT Principal Investigator. Well, it's a uh, fairly complex instrument, but in fact, at the heart of it, it, it utilizes an interaction in nature where at sufficiently high energy in the gamma ray regime that we're going to study, a gamma ray that interacts with matter will actually materialize as a particle and an antiparticle. And we detect those particles and their characteristic signature tells us it was a gamma ray and then we can figure out where it came from in the sky and its energy and, and its arrival time. What will LAT help us see? When you look up in the optical sky, it looks very quiescent and stable and nothing changing with time. When you look at the gamma ray sky, you realize that there are violent phenomena in the universe that evolve very quickly. Uh, gamma ray bursts being an example, something that uh, for a brief instant of time, you know, about a second, outshines the entire rest of the universe. What are gamma ray bursts? We turn to Charles Chip Megan. GBM principal investigator. Gamma ray bursts are uh, explosions of, of stars in distant galaxies. They're very similar to supernova in many ways, but they're, they're a rare form of supernova, which emits most of its energy in the gamma ray region rather than as optical light. They're rare and very powerful events. How big are gamma ray bursts? Uh, a gamma ray burst emits as much energy in just te uh, perhaps 10 seconds as the sun emits over its entire 10 billion year life. Another instrument used is called the Glass Burst Monitor, or GBM. Just how will the GBM monitor gamma ray burst? The Glass Burst Monitor is a very simple technique for uh, detecting gamma rays. Uh, we use uh, crystals called scintillators, and when a gamma ray is absorbed in this crystal, it emits a pulse of light, and we measure that pulse of light, and that tells us the energy of the gamma ray. GLASS will study a wide variety of astronomical objects and phenomena. But according to GLASS project scientist Steve Ritz of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, active galactic nuclei will be GLASS's bread and butter. There are the guaranteed results. 
active galactic nuclei, or AGN for short, are galaxies with extraordinarily luminous cores, powered by black holes containing millions or even billions of times more material than our Sun. Some of the other objects and phenomena glass may help us understand are neutron stars, our early universe, cosmic rays, supernovas, stellar quakes, more information about our own solar system and Milky Way, and possibly we may even learn more about the mysterious dark matter. We asked Peter Mitchell to tell us about dark matter. We call it dark matter because we can't see it. <laughs> And, but it reveals itself uh, through its gravitational interactions with ordinary matter, which is what we can observe with telescopes. Now what is unusual about glass is that the dark matter, uh, some forms of it, when one piece of dark matter meets another piece of dark matter, they may annihilate each other and produce gamma rays. And so what we're going to look for are the gamma rays from that dark matter annihilation. NASA has also renamed GLASS the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope. The new name honors Professor Enrico Fermi. Fermi was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1938 for his work on inducted radioactivity and is today regarded as one of the top scientists of the 20th century. Professor Fermi was an Italian physicist most noted for his work on the development of the first nuclear reactor at Los Alamos and for his contributions to the development of quantum theory, nuclear and particle physics, and statistical mechanics. The universe looks remarkably different outside the narrow range of colors we can see with our eyes. Fermi's spectacular high-energy gamma-ray eyeglasses will reveal hidden wonders, open our minds to new possibilities and discoveries, expanding our understanding of the universe and our place in it. These new perspectives help us to think differently, as well as inspire new generations of students. Follow Fermi's missions at www.figbranch.com.